My name is Michael, and this is my jump rope interval class. It's called the teardrop and sweat effect. Um, the reason why it's called the teardrop and sweat effect is because it's more of a play on words for right now. Uh, you will be sweating in this class, and you'll be sore the next day. So that's how I came up with the title. So what it is is I'm going to show you jump rope and footwork techniques in this class. And in between, we'll do some jump rope intervals, or we'll do some body weight intervals. We'll do balance, coordination. We'll do high intensity intervals. We'll do anything that focuses on jump rope skills, uh, techniques. Usually I show you three variations of jumps and then are, we'll jump for about two or three minutes or five minutes. I choreograph it to a song. Each class is different. Um, and then we do an interval that might focus on the variations that we do. It all depends. This class gets you lighter on your feet. You'll, you'll learn lateral movements, vertical movements, horizontal movements, circular movements. This is good for sports. Uh, dance and everyday fitness. Uh, so the first thing I do, is, does anyone have any injuries? I always ask that and I always have modifications for all my exercises. So the first thing we do is one of the proper ways we measure up a rope is step on it in half, handle should come straight up right under the shoulder. If they're too long, just take it and tie a knot in it. If it's too short, just take a knot, a knot out. So once again, step on it in half, Handles straight up right on their shoulder. So we'll put the rope down. We got the measurement. And one of the proper forms of jumping is elbows in, arms 45 degrees or 30 degrees. And all you're doing is you're turning with the wrist. That's all it is. And you're just jumping. Jumping that much, about a quarter of an inch, because the rope's only an eighth inch high or eighth inch thick. So all you're doing is you're jumping. That's all it is. This is a shadow jump. So at any time you get frustrated with the uh, rope, you can go into this form, a shadow jump. So today I'm gonna to show you three variations of jump. I'm gonna show you the heel tap. I'm gonna show you, show you the skier or side to side. And then I'm gonna show you high knees or run in place. Three, two, one. So we'll grab the rope and we'll start jumping. So everyone just do a basic jump or a basic hop. Now we're gonna do heel taps. We'll do skiers or side to side. Then we'll do high knees. Now we'll do this for about three minutes or a I choreographed this to a song. So a three, two, one. So I also have drills that we do to improve these variations. And like I said, every week I do different variations. So since we're doing heel taps, side to side and high knees, we'll do those exercises. So this is exercise, lay out the rope for heel taps and you're just gonna tap the heel. That's it. We do this for about 30 seconds and we'll take this up to the next level. We'll progress, lateral movements. Try not to look at the rope, feel where the rope is, and that's all it is. Back and forth. Now, let's intensify this. We're gonna do the heel taps, up and back, and at the end of each rope, two jumping lunges on each end. Or modification, Lunge, 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 lunge. So with this exercise, you're targeting your calves, your, uh, your ankles, and your quads. So you're gonna get a really good full body workout. So you're gonna go heel tap, up and back. And two jumping lunges on each end, on uh, each leg. And then right back into the heel taps. We'll do this for about a minute or two minutes each. And this is just one interval we do. And then we go right back in the jump rope. So that's one thing. Now since we're doing side to side or skiers, here's an exercise we can do. You use the rope as a guide again, and all we're doing is going zigzag, like we're skiing. So you get the muscle memory going in the form. So now we'll step this up, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop down, hold the squat a little bit, and then jump, 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 
jump and go backwards. Now we'll step it up. We'll make this a little bit quicker. Forward and back, forward and back. Okay, and then high knees, just run in place. Three, two, one. So besides exercises and showing you variations, I'll show you how to use a rope with different exercises. Like we'll do some ab work. So people have a jump rope at home and they want to use a jump rope as uh, equipment, we can. So here's a good ab exercise I usually do. It's a great exercise, actually. So it's full extension all the time. <coughs> Ooh, tired. Feet six inches off the ground the whole time. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. You're gonna come up. Oops, sorry. Up, over, hold. Up, over, down. Now this, we'll do this for about a minute. Full extension and hold. Another ab exercise is we'll use this as weights. And we'll come up, press up, and at the si same time, we bring our feet six inches off the ground and hold. So come up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down.